Uh, really happy with that one, you know, to, to finish out uh, the, our home regular season uh, with another win and a six game winning streak. It's been a big reason why we've uh, climbed up the standings. Um, you know, Liberty's put you on edge defensively uh, all night. The way they cut and move and got so many guys that can drive the ball, uh, they test your defensive discipline. And I thought we uh, did a really good job of not having defensive lapses over and over. Uh, when we went to Liberty earlier in the season, um, you know, we were a little handicapped with a couple guys that got sick, uh, but that wasn't the reason for the outcome. They were just uh, more physical, uh, tougher than we were. We were just kind of reactive to everything they were doing offensively. Uh, tonight, I just thought we were, um, you know, aggressive, uh, active, anticipated actions. Um, our talk was good. I thought we were connected in the second half on the defensive end uh, until the last made three. Uh, we'd given up 28 points in the second half, but had only forced two two turnovers in the second half. They had 13 at halftime, ended with 15. And so a lot of our stops were a result of just playing good, sound, solid defense and not giving up second chance points. Really happy for Jalen and Elias. Uh, two guys, uh, been here four and five years uh, to go out, played really well. Uh, Elias changed the game uh, for us, I thought, early um, with his defensive energy and effort and activity off the ball. Started the second half. Uh, we've all known he can make threes. Uh, we've known that since he was 15. Uh, but he, he got a couple buckets at the basket that uh, were really important for us. We were up 33-30, and uh, we scored the first three. Did, did he score? Did you score all three of them? Uh, Score first yeah. nine? First eight. And it, it, that's something that an element to, an added element to our team, that uh, if we can consistently get that from him, um, you know, it's just another piece that we can go to here late in the season. Uh, and Jalen made a couple of big buckets. Um, really happy for our team. Was, that was a good one. 15 fast break points versus zero yeah. for Liberty. Liberty's obviously not a team that, that tries to break a lot, but they're also not a team that gives up a lot of fast breaks either. Yeah. What were you all able to do to get out and transition, particularly in that first half? Just get clean rebounds. You know, they, they're, they're, they're scratch and they're aggressive and they, they try to strip at the ball. And, you know, if you're – you can gather rebounds, and as you come down, they'll try to pop one loose. And even if they don't get it, if you juggle it, bobble it just a little bit, the other four guys are getting back. And now, all of a sudden, you're facing set defense. Um, I just thought we got good, clean rebounds and got out and ran. Um, that was really important. Points in the paint was the other. You know, 34 feels like a lot. Um, but that's how they generate a lot of their offense. At their place, it was 56. And so to cut that uh, by 22 points was, in large part, uh, how we cut it from 88 points given up to 61. You just beat one of the better teams in the league, and Justin Porter had five points. Um, yep. How important is it this time of year to get contributions from multiple people? Got to have it. You have to have it. If they're able to just load up on one or two guys, uh, Every team in the league's got one or two guys that are really good defenders. And if they shut the water off right there, you're in big trouble. Um, so you've got to have multiple guys that can score the ball. You need somebody that can make, that can stretch the defense and make threes. You've got to have guys that can score driving it. You've got to have guys that can score with their back to the basket. Uh, tonight, Jared Jones gets 15 and 10. We've got two guys in, in Elias and Jalen that can really shoot it that had 19 and 17 and JB. Uh, another night where he just manufactures buckets and ends up in double figure points himself. So you got four guys in double figures, and JP wasn't one of them. Uh, the other thing, kind of the unsung hero, uh, too, which I thought all of our guys played well, and you need that, uh, but was Jacob Johnson. You know, he ends up with plus 20 uh, and shot it three times. But he had four assists, no turnovers, a steal, and was guarding guys for the most part that are bigger and physical. And so to, to play 29 minutes, four seconds, excuse me, 30, four seconds short of 30 minutes, and to be plus 20, you're doing a lot of good things out there. So it's just a really good team win. And you, again, you need that when you're playing good teams.
At one point in the first half, Liberty had made 11 shots in a row, and then the last 9.39, he held him to four points. Yep. Um, what did you kind of change defensively, or if anything? It was just that we were – we had a couple of sloppy um, switches where it was just too loose and they shot behind it. Uh, the At the under-12 media, they already had 12 points in the paint. And they had just a few turnovers. And we just said, if, if, if this continues, then they're going to have 56 points in the paint again. And I just thought we kind of bowed up a little bit. You know, we were down 10 at 26, 26 to 16 with 940 to go. And in the last 16 possessions, they had one bucket and two free throws. Uh, and that, that, was, that was the difference is we just ha stopped having defensive lapses and stop letting them get clean ones uh, in the paint. Elias, we celebrated senior day uh, a couple weeks ago, but tonight was actually your last game in the Murphy Center. What, what has playing in the Glass House, playing for Middle Tennessee, playing for Nick um, meant for you in your career? Man, it's been big, man. I, I would like to give a hats off to this man right here, my head coach, Coach McDevitt. He took me in. And um, they've been treating me like family ever since. Guys like Jalen Jordan, I grew up with them guys in Atlanta. I knew a lot of the guys, they were from the Atlanta area on my first couple of teams. So I knew I was going to be around a family environment. And for me to just come here and be accepted from the community and this school has just been huge. And yeah. Elias, well, depending on other results around the league, you've got a good shot to finish either a tie or solo fourth in the conference. Um, Especially after how the season started and how the middle of the season was, what does it mean to kind of you know, keep the faith in yourself and the team to be where you are right now? We was talking about it earlier. We started off 0-4, man, and it, it definitely um, took a toll mentally, but we kept fighting. We brought it every day in practice. Um, the, the second unit was pushing us, and our coaches, they stayed at it, and we just stayed at it, and we kept fighting. And now we're in this position to be tied for third and, or locked the fourth. So just going in into the conference tournament with big momentum, that's huge for us as well. Jalen, 17 points tonight um, to beat one of the better teams in the league. Just what, what do performances like this mean for you when you're reaching, you know, the end of your career, especially after how the season started? Um, it means a lot to me. I mean, first of all, I want to say thank you to my teammates and just trusting me. Um, once I've seen one go in, you know, the basket seemed really big for me, and I just stayed confident all night. And like I said, once again, thank you to my teammates, and it felt really good, you know? Finally good to just see some go in and just get a good lead like that and come out with a win. Nick, how many of the old Josh Jefferson sets have you dusted off for, for Jalen the past <laughs> couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's a couple in there that uh, were good for, for Josh where – uh, that have been good for him and JP, and uh, a couple more that kind of got in our back pocket a little bit too. Uh, that we'll say for a rainy day. But I, I, I told our group I was really happy for these two. You know, they've put in a ton of work, been here four and five years. Um, you know, been a part of teams that have won 45 games in two years, and you're picked to finish first at the beginning of the season, and then a couple of their teammates, their brothers, as they call each other, uh, go down. And it's been hard on those two that went down. Uh, but it's been hard on these guys, too, uh, particularly guys that are um, wanting to win a championship their last year of college ball. And they're, they just never hung their head. Uh, they never stopped believing in e themselves and in each other. And in the last seven weeks, uh, we've, we've gone from uh, sole possession of last to sole possession of fourth. And I think that's a real testament to the character of this group, uh, how connected they are, how um, they work. It, it's, it's really been fun to watch. You know, that's not easy to do. Uh, it, was, it was some hard weeks. And to see them, you know, do what they've done, it's been pretty fun. Jalen, you've been that guy that's been on the bench wanting to help your team and, and, and not able to because of injury. What have you talked to, to Cam and Josh about you know, as, you, as you're going through this season right now? Um, <clears throat> I will always talk to Josh and Cam. Just stay focused. You know, it's definitely challenging. It's definitely hard. I mean, adversity hits. It's never easy for nobody. But, I mean, when you stay focused, trust me, you, get, you could accomplish a lot of things. 
And that's my message to anyone who's ever dealing with an injury or going through adversity. Just stay focused and take it one day at a time, and you'll see good results. Oh, appreciate y'all.